Hello, my friend. You asked me what about people who haven't been able to develop their potential during the early years of their life and even through the middle years of their life. Is there any hope for them? Well, my motto is it's often too soon and too early to do something and sometimes you have to be patient for life to bring you the experiences that will mature you enough and open you enough, break you open enough to see what is possible and to feel the strength inside of you. So it's often too early. If the flower hasn't ripened enough, it can't open. And if you try to make it open, you will destroy it. So it's often too soon, too early for you to develop and open your potential. But it's never too late, never. That really is a true saying. Because the more we mature and the more we see of the world and the more we get to know ourselves and the more we get to understand about living, the better we are placed to pull it all together to take home that harvest of our whole life and to say, now, now I feel ready to go into that road that I have avoided for so long. Now my heart calls me to my real vocation, the thing that really matters to me. And you will at that point have the wisdom I hope not to do it in order to prove something or to show off or to have a huge amount of success with it or to impress somebody or to prove something to the world, but rather because it is your calling and it is possible and a time has now come for you to come out of your shell and take Slow steps, build yourself a new dwelling to live in, brick by brick and drop by drop, filling the reservoir of your talents with your energy until it just starts to happen all by itself. And you have to have faith in life, that life will bring you that. And you have to have faith in yourself that your inner light will suddenly shine on what it is that has been staring you in the face. And you know what you can do with your energy before the end is near. That you know what your contribution to the world may be. When, when you were younger, overwhelmed with work, or in your middle years, stagnating, you couldn't see. But now, my friend, you have that sight. You have that oversight. You can look back, you can look forward, but you can also really accept who you are and what you're capable of. So shine that light. Shine that light inside and then shine it all around you to see what it is that you specifically are able to do and contribute whilst enjoying it, whilst developing yourself and whilst generously giving to the world. Have joy in that. Look forward to it if it hasn't happened yet because it can and it will if you open your heart. Take care with that, my friend. Bye.